We're standing here in the void of the Sydney Jewish Museum, the central space, and what you see around us are the names. And these names have three different meanings. The first is that we name survivors. Survivors are at the core of everything we do. Survivors have made this museum. They established it in 1992, and they have volunteered here ever since, sharing their stories and bringing to life this history for our students and our visitors. But of course, survivors are the exception when we're talking about the Holocaust. We know that two thirds of European Jewry were murdered during the Holocaust. And so we also name victims. We name those victims whose stories we might never know. And we can't, we can't fit all of their names. And so we have gaps to represent those silences, those stories that we will never know. And then the third meaning of the names is personal to me, because my name is here. My Hebrew name, which is Rivka, and I'm named for my great aunt who was murdered in Poland in 1942. My great aunt I never got to meet. And this links to the idea we call Zachor, which is a Hebrew word that means remembrance. Remembrance because I am named in honor of her memory, and I have a responsibility that every time I speak my name, her name, I bring her back to life for the moment I hold her in my mind. But Zachor also has a very active meaning that I have a responsibility to change the world for better. And so I implore you to think about what is your personal responsibility and how are you gonna make a difference in the world?